Hey folks, what's up? Lex here. And I've got another haul video for you. It's going to be a quick one. Um, I went to Goodwill and I've been finding a lot of good stuff at Goodwill lately. Nothing super crazy here, but just a lot of solid pickups. I was trying to be selective again, just because things have been kind of slower. So I don't want to stop sourcing, but I want to make sure that what I'm sourcing, I can get a decent margin on. Um, so Let's start with these here. I got a PlayStation 4 controller. It's a black one. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, this was $5.50. Uh, the screws look a little dirty, possibly rusted, but uh, I'll have to charge that up and see if it works. Um, this does flash on, so that's nice. Um, I don't remember red being the thing it flashes, but We'll, we'll test it and see if it works. Also got a PlayStation 3, DualShock 3 controller, black. Uh, this was also $5.50. Um, so I can probably get $30 for the PlayStation 4 controller, maybe $35 for the PlayStation 3 controller if I'm lucky. Um, the, they caught, the thing with these is that they're heavy, so uh, they might cost, they might weigh more than a pound, which means they're going to cost a little bit more to ship, which is why I generally don't pick them up. But these were, these were in pretty good shapes. Like the, the rubber on the joysticks is what, really what you want to look out for. If the rubber is good, then you can probably get higher for it. Um, especially on these PS4 controllers, the rubber wears out really quickly on some of them, especially the earlier ones. I know I went through like three or four different controllers just because of the the rubber on the thumbsticks would wear out. All right, some hats for you, only two, but we have this Chance the Rapper uh, three hat. This was $3.99. Uh, looks like comps are 20 to 25 on it. I figured, you know, I like, I like listing and shipping hats. Um, they're pretty easy to do and they all ship for first class pretty much. Um, so I could probably get $10 net profit on that, which is kind of like my bottom net profit where I want to be. Uh, so as long as it makes that cut and it's easy to list, then I'll, I'll consider it. And then we have this really cool, uh, I don't know how many people know this. This is the San Jose Giants logo. Uh, San Jose Giants are a minor league team of the San Francisco Giants. There you see the minor league, uh, baseball logo on the back there. This is a fitted hat. It's a seven and one fourths. And this was $4.99. Um, comps are kind of all over the place with these, but uh, there's a chance I could get, I don't know, 45 at the most for this, maybe. Just depends. I'm thinking it'll probably be more like 35 is what I can get for this. But the problem with fitted hats is that the size, like, this is seven and one fourths. You kind of have to wait for the right buyer to come along and, and want it. First of all, this is a, a niche kind of thing anyway, right? How many people are looking for San Jose Giants hats? I mean, probably quite a few people in San Jose are looking for them, but you know, you're still limiting your, your customer base with that. And then you limit it even further with the size. So, uh, but it's a really nice hat really good shape. It's a new era hat. So excited to find that. All right, next uh, we have some clothes and just, uh, I think just three clothing items here. Um, first off is this Roscoe's chicken and waffles long sleeve shirt. It's got waffles and chickens on the, on the arm there. A little personal note. Um, it was a couple years back, uh, probably like five, six years back. We went to, um, the LA area to go to some of the amusement parks there. And um, I wanted to go to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. And um, I know this is gonna sound weird. My cat's name was Rascal. And so you know how pets names kind of deviate and you get really weird pet names, you know? Uh, so his name then turned into Roscoe and it, we would say Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, and then it was Chicken, and and so on and so forth. Anyway, <laughs> I I kind of assimilate Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles with my cat, who 
unfortunately passed away this year, um, which is really tough for me. So anything that I can, pick, that, 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 the comps are all over the place with that. So I, I didn't really buy it like, oh, this is going to be a good profit. I kind of bought it as a sentimental thing, uh, but it's too small for me to keep, unfortunately. But yeah, anyway, long story short, there's a Roscoe's chicken and waffle shirt. Uh, this was interesting. I saw this on the rack. I didn't go through every single shirt like I normally do because I didn't want to be there for that long. Um, but I did glance through the racks and saw this. Let's see you bigger there. I've, I'm not a soccer guy. I have no idea other than this is Australian, I think. NSW Blues. Um, it's got a kangaroo on it. It says classic there. It's got uh, advertising patches. It looks to be in very nice shape. It's new with tags. So, um, the unfortunate thing about this is that there were a lot of comps for these, but a lot of them were sold from Australia. And I don't know if it's buyers from the U S buying from Australia. If that's the case, that's good news for me because that means I can probably undercut them with shipping or something like that. But if those are Australian buyers, then that means that I'm probably going to have to list it under the global shipping. But I still think I can get at least $40 for this. It's new with tags. Um, it's in really good shape. I just don't know much more about it than that. And finally, our last thing of the day is this. Let me button this real quick so I can show it properly but i got excited when i saw this again this is another thing i just glanced uh and saw on the rack it's this wrangler shirt but it's like block colored 90s it says wrangler on the sleeve it's got red yellow and blue it's just quintessential 90s western wear awesomeness um, I'm thinking I can probably get 40 to $50 for this. I paid $8.99 for this. I didn't say the uh, other prices on these. I paid $7.99 for the uh, soccer jersey. And then for the Roscoe chicken and waffles shirt, I paid $4.99. So nothing stellar on this uh, trip to Goodwill, but some really solid items. I can probably net... Uh, you know, $15 off of each controller. So that's $30 right there. Uh, again, these probably net 15 to 20 or even more on those. Uh, the Roscoe chicken and waffle shirts comps were kind of all over the place, anywhere from 20 to $35. So have to see about that, but I'm thinking at least 25 for this, which would be probably a net profit of around um around $15 for that the soccer jersey hoping for uh, the soccer jersey and the Wrangler shirt hoping for the bigger net profits off of that but um should make some decent money off of that anyway that's gonna do it for today I'm gonna go play video games all day long um I've got another channel Lex Marston that I'm doing three year-end videos for and I've got a lot of work to do on those uh, including my top 10 games of the year, ranking all the other games I played this year, and also um, games I'm looking forward to next year. So if you're into video games, go check that channel out. Again, it's Lex Marston, just Lex Marston. Uh, this one has Lex Marston with resale on it. Just drop the resale, you'll be good to go. All right, that's going to do it. Until next time, this is Lex, signing off.